Hey guys, welcome back to the blindingly beautiful world of Satisfactory. My stairway next to the space elevator looks a little unfinished, so maybe we'll be uh, pouring some concrete into that at some point. But first, we need to work on the steel uh, factory around here. But I thought a few of you might like some sort of idea of why we are building the steel factory. Aren't we supposed to be sending stuff up the space elevator? And you're right, we need to get a certain item to put up the space elevator. That is the modular frame which I think we can see the construction materials for in here. So we did the, the modular frames over at the space elevator and the ones that we're actually working towards now are the motors. Now to go, do the motors we need rotors which are fine we've got those built on the other side uh, by the space elevator but we also need the stators, stators, stat uh, the inside bit to a motor and this needs steel pipes which you know we just figured out how to do. You do the steel pipes out of the steel ingots we've got steel ingots being made over here so I'm just gonna get on and make a few things we've got a copper uh, no somewhere over here is the last ingredient we need for the full for the full uh, production flow I suppose uh, I need to get the copper in so that we can make the stator uh, we also need to make use of the uh, concrete over there we can encase some steel beams and make ourselves Oh, don't get run over by the truck. Make ourselves the encased steel beams, and, and that just that will be uh, another item for using. So yeah, I'm gonna find this. Oh look, it's I think it's just up here. I'm gonna make use of this copper, do the whole thing, and I will see you guys when it's all been done. Okay, yeah, quick end of the night update. We have taken the steel that we were producing here in the foundry. We have taken one of those foundries and we've split it out into two steel pipe production lines there's literally just go in making uh, steel pipes in the constructor and then they're merging back together to come into this storage container which is going to go up a floor and be dealt with with the copper and we're going to get the stators on the go and that's going to be beautiful on this side of the machine we've got the found uh, the foundries I, I, i'm gonna keep wanting to call these foundations for a long time uh, trust me but we got those foundries they're coming over to the constructors they're being fed steel ingots 30 per minute or rather they should be but we'll talk about that in a second and they're outputting 30 steel beams across the lot per minute and that's going to go up where that's going to mix with this concrete here it's going to go up a floor and we're going to get encased steel beams but they're um, a small problem small problem you remember how i was explaining to ah, i missed it explaining to you how we had 120 coal 100 no 200 210 coal oh, would you believe i'm dyslexic uh, 210 coal going into this fire station every minute uh, and i just worked with those numbers not thinking about it but of course this conveyor can only move 120 per minute so uh that was this falling a little bit short Thankfully, there should be a little something at the hub that can help us out. If I come into here and have a look at tier four, uh, I should look at tier, tier three. Purple shards came from the purple glow worm. We remember that, right? Uh, over here, uh, first off, I've got this improved melee combat, which, you know, it's fairly easy to build with everything that we've got in this bit base that we've got here. I'm going to select that and do that quick. Okay, so that's improved melee combat. And so it gives us an improved Xeno Blaster, which, you know, it's pretty nice all and of itself. Oh, she's doing a talk. Oh yeah, that's very nice. More importantly than anything, as she said, is we get the improved uh, inventory slot. Five of those. That's pretty good. I'm all down for that. The Xeno Basher, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that. But one thing I do want to do is this, but you can see we need 50, 50 motors for that. Oh, that is actually a little bit beyond us. But I can come into here using uh, the wonders of the extra inventory slots that we got. Remember this stuff from in the hole? Let's go and uh, let's go and process it up, shall we? We, uh, we found it last time, uh, whilst we were setting up the truck routes, and it's going to take 15 minutes for this to happen. It's going to take 10 minutes for the, uh, the machine to come back. I'm going to hand make 50, 50 motors just, just for that. Oh, I hear it. That would have been the sonic boom of it entering there. There's the little marker there. The pod is on its way back. Just in time too, because I just managed to get all the motors together. That's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Kai, I need you to sit in your little socket, buddy, before we can actually go and do things. But it should be all fine. All fine. All right, let's go and have a look inside the milestone box here. I really just enjoy watching that guy come back. I have no idea why. Just do. Oh, come on. Here we go. All right. So we need to put some of those in there. We need to put all this, these motors in here that I've just made. Uh, a whole bunch of wire. Just like, oh. Oh, I used up a whole load of wire. Oh. 
Okay, I successfully uh, borrowed these from some other places, so that should be able to launch those off. We can get magi logistics, not logistics, but logistics. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Well, thank you, Ada, but I don't really care about the storage, but that extra belt efficiency, that sounds pretty tasty. Let's have a look in here as well. Oh man, we got four minutes to wait. I'm just gonna wait four minutes. Ooh, the last few seconds of waiting are always the worst. Actually, that's a outright lie. About two minutes, that was the worst. Uh, all right, the analysis of the caterium ore is now complete. Please choose a new specimen. Uh, let's listen to what Ada's got to say about it, shall we? Hub tier three. That is not the hub tier I was expecting to hear it from. I was going to go run back and have a look at some other things, but look at this. The, this technology here, we can make ingots, some quick wire, a high conductive wire, power pole mark two, blade runners, you say? Oh, no, no, so, so long to wait. No, 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 I've got other things to do. I am going to get back to the other factory. I'm going to stick the second floor on. I'm going to start making... Well, encased steel beams and uh, status, status, status. Gotta remember to drop a review for the uh, sunsets on this planet from, on TripAdvisor. Like, wow, look at them, look at them. That's amazing. Uh, I'm back for a refill of some. Ow, I can't believe I missed. Uh, of some basic materials. I got these some rods and some plates and stuff. But I thought whilst we're here, should we just finish off this little milestone we've got going for us here? We got the uh, Catarium. Um, that, that's how I'm going to pronounce it now. I. I just think that's kind of how it's gonna work. I hit the launch on that. Milestone unlocked. Beautiful. What you gotta say? Yeah, I, I, I need more pocket dimension. But there's also a thing, right? Over here, we got the Blade Runners. What's this? I can make these when I get back. I've got a little equipment table over there. Let's go and have a look. Look, I got all the way to the other place and realized that I needed this stuff. <laughs> well, anyway, let's make it here then. Uh, down here somewhere, we should have Caterium ingots. That's cool. I'm going to... Caterium, Caterium, Caterium. I don't know. Give, give, give me a shout down below about which one you think that is. Now, what do I actually need to make this work? 16? Is 16 enough? I'm not quite sure. 50. I, I, I don't know whether we've got enough. Hmm, sad times. We're about halfway there. Hmm, gonna have to keep an eye out for more. I don't know where we will find any more. I also need to work on those hard drives at some point. I believe there's all sorts of maps and stuff out there that would actually show me where some of these ores are located, but I, I, I kind of feel like exploration would be a better way to play that. Also, I need to start working on a road system going in and out of the base over there because I need to start making... Well, in fact, the very next thing I'm going to work on is the truck system. During the time of the edits, I've gone through and made the next floor up of the factory, at least as far as the stators are concerned. And the uh, the inside bits of the of the uh, motors, which means I have both steel pipes and the stators that I want to ship back to my main base. And of course, like things, places like that, we we're, we're just asking for head-on collisions if we leave that like that. So I think we're going to have to build some sort of roadway. Maybe it'll cross the top of those cliffs over there. Put a couple of ramps in. Mm, yeah. Well, now the the real question, of course. Is do we drive on the right, like the Colonials, or the left, like the Great British Motherland? Hmm. So last part of this production line you guys saw, I believe, was these storage boxes at the end here. Well, as you can see, I've put in a whole bunch of infrastructure. We'll talk about over there in a second. We've put in a whole bunch of infrastructure. I've gone through, I've upgraded the, uh the concrete making area over here. I had to put a couple of power shards into these because this is pumping out 120 per minute and these were only eating, uh, I think it was like 45 per minute. Let's turn it down to 100 and see what we've got. Yeah, it's about 45 per minute. Uh, I slightly overclocked. But I figured out that about 133, well, it's 133.333333 will eat uh, 60. So you just need to put it up to 134 because, you know, that's the way the numbers work. 
work uh, and it will uh, quite nicely between the two of them eat up all the concrete and output a steady pace now this is a steady pace but it's not a, con uh, a considerable pace uh, let's use the ramp that's literally why I've just put it in here uh, I have a, a slight question for you guys this little gap here uh, it's done it's here by accident oh man you can see the problem I'm having with it uh, it's here by accident because I put that on the center and kind of worked around here now you can cross it just by running it's brilliant by running and you know if you're kind of walking you can just kind of jump across uh, but at the same time you can fall down uh, relatively simply it's uh, it's caught me out a couple of times now but putting the walkway in forwards bam like so and ends up with these rails here and i'm not sure if i like them which which one do you guys think which one do you guys think is better but anyway uh i've brought up the steel beams here and the concrete next to it and this comes through into two little uh, assemblers that produce the encased steel beam, encased industrial beams. Now, the numbers should be working out. We've got three machines down below that are producing 10 a piece. That's 30 a minute. Uh, this one's eating 16 per minute. So we should have a slight deficit. But for some reason, we're still receiving items all the time. So uh, I, I, I don't know. I would have thought that we would have, like, run out on this belt, belt at some point. But anyway, these encased beams, they go down. They go underneath here. Uh, I've suspended them. Well, that was a little bit further than necessary. I've suspended them from these wall pieces. I think I'm going to keep it. My original idea was to actually get rid of the, the wall pieces. But no, I, I kind of like it. We are going to keep it. Okay, so on this side, the steel pipes go up the other side. I'm going to climb the stairway again. So the steel pipes climb up this little route here and they come through to the machines. Now, uh, I've got a storage system down below that is probably stealing all the steel pipes at the moment. Yeah, that one right there. But when that backs up, this will be perfectly balanced. Uh, and in here, you've got the wire. 60 per minute is, is our our limit here so as you can see we've got a 60 here 60 there that's 120 i suppose we could upgrade these to the next level belts and get some more on the go but uh th this this is the limiting factor at the moment these are coming through here they're ma uh, making the status status whatever they are and we're taking these that or whatever we pronounce these sorry i know exactly what they are uh, and then we bring all of these items down to this area over here now this area over here it's here because i want to set up a whole bunch of truck stops all along this line here uh, the first thing I thought I had was, oh, I'm going to need to bring some coal for some power. So I've got some coal for some power under there. Not just power, for fuel for the trucks. And the next thing was, do you remember that two-way road system I was talking about? Well, I think we're going to put it in here. I think this is the way we're going to go. We're going to send trucks that are coming into the base left and down, and trucks that are going coming out of the base kind of going to come down from up there. And we're going to build a little ramp system along here, but I'm going to do it from the top. Hmm, I wonder how long these things have been here. There's a power slug there and one of those bad guys over there. I might have to cross the water and have a look. Anyway, I am up with the wires right now and I'm trying to figure out exactly where would be the best place to run a little ramp down. We can bring the trucks along through this little little uh, what, plateau uh, shelf along this way. Uh, and I'm, I was kind of looking in this little little dugout area here i'm kind of feeling like this might be the place or not like that to pop this down if we pop it like so uh, i should hopefully have it without too many rocks or anything uh, on the way and then maybe like this we should be able to put a little ramp down this way but of course this isn't the important way no no the important way is to turn around and go down the other way and i don't think i want to go as uh, slowly as i have done because uh, this ramp so it's a very, very shallow ramp. Very shallow ramp indeed. What I want instead is this one. I'm going to put this on my eight and we can work with that. Beautiful. All right. Pop it down there and pop it down there. Okay, so I built a ramp. It's far from ideal, but it will do the business. I even, like, played some lip service to gravity and built a, uh, a pillar there. I need to come down and chop those trees down. But first, should we uh, have a go at doing this? Did that actually do any damage at all? I don't know whether this is a damageable thing or not. There's a couple more than I actually thought there would be. Um, let's try from here. Doesn't seem to be doing what I thought it would do. I've not fought any of these, really. So I'm not sure exactly what to expect. It's up and moving. Do I? Should I be scared? 
I mean, I, I assume I'm supposed to be scared. I'm just going to come along and pick this up and we'll figure out what that's going to do. Uh, okay, okay, we got gas going. Okay, still can't actually do it a damage, though. No, well, you didn't, didn't really stop me. Got to be said. How about if I shoot like that up there? No, that's not your weak point. What's your weak point, buddy? Where... Can I do you a damage? You're not even responding. But I got a power slug, and that's important. Okay, we're back at base, Alpha. It's been some time. Welcome back, guys. And I'm wondering where to put this truck station. I kind of feel like here's a good spot, because then we can just, like, roll the truck in and do it. Uh, let's just power it with this. This is not a sustainable play, but we're going to do that anyway. And then over here, we want to make the actual motor factory. Now, I'm going to do that using these rotors that are coming out here and the stators that come from this one. So we want to try and figure out where we can get these rolling. I want to bring them up so they don't actually intersect with the floor. Beautiful, beautiful. I've already gone ahead and set up the truck stop at the other end of the line. Uh, I don't, didn't really feel like we needed to see that. It was just like put some put some foundations down, put a conveyor belt, get, uh, get the fuel flowing. All standard things that we've seen before. Well, this is a first. I've never been able to place directly on top of a storage container before. Bam! But we can do it. I was trying to squeeze it through this little gap here, but uh, I kept on interrupted, uh, getting interrupted by this walkway. But if that's... We just put them up here. That's even better. We can't put a conveyor pole here, though, I know. That's uh, that's that's different. Set the truck stop to unload. We're going along this little belt here. This just goes up and over the top of everything and into that assembler over there, where it's joined by another conveyor belt. This is a conveyor belt that literally just splits off the rotor line behind. You can even see the splitter right there. Comes down and joins into here. Uh, and then we've got a little storage box on the end, and that can then go off to the... Space elevator, that's the word I was looking for, uh, but like eventually. Well, the first thing we need to do, of course, is go and record this path. And now I'm just thinking, where do we want to do this? Do we want to do this from actually being set up in... Oh, I don't have any fuel. Why do I not have any fuel at all? Well, it took so long that the other sun has kind of risen up, but we finally got the full track put down, and there he goes to do it. The problem is... You might notice how everything's flashing red, everything's in trouble. Would you believe it? We've gone and topped out with the power. I, I actually don't believe it. I really do not. Thankfully, the fix to this should be relatively simple. Let's rip that one down as well. If I go into the production and get a minor Mark II out, there should be somewhere cannot afford. Well, a cable. Cable? Okay, minor Mark II. It looks pretty big, but we should be able to chunk things into there. Now, the big problem we've got is, one, there's nothing producing any power right now. That's actually a bigger power problem than I was going to let on. Uh, but two, can this pull out faster? That's 120 per minute. 120 gets split down. But yeah, no, I think we should be able to support this. Let me just do a quick bit of calcs. Oh, I remember. It doesn't actually tell us, does it? All right, that's that's a bit more troublesome. Well, I really wanted to throw the switch with you guys, but a few friends came around and interrupted me, so I turned the game off and I turned it back on, and it just started up working fine. I was like, ah, oh, to be honest, I was a little bit little bit sad about that. I really wanted to throw the big switch. But as you can see, we're kind of topping out at 600 megawatts, which kind of confused me uh, because we had... Uh, let, let's go through the numbers. We've got 500 megawatts in this block over here, which a Mark 1 miner was dealing with quite well. The Mark 1 miner got 60 units out of a normal node. The Mark 2 gets 120 units out of the normal node. So we should, surely, have been able to just co copy it out twice. I did half, just being like, oh, let's do a quick hack. Did half, and for some reason, yeah, the, the coal is just not flowing as it should be. Now, again, I'm almost certain my distribution network has got something to do with that. But, it's, yeah, it's, it's slightly vexing. I'm just not sure why. I mean, it's all coming out of here fine. Another thing we might need to do is to go around and find the stranded uh, stranded tractors. Um, that one over there has its own power, so that should be fine. That would have kept on being fed coal. Uh, and this one here, now it was parked up. Yeah, he seems to be running fine. Okay, that, that's cool. And there is one more we need to go check that I'm fairly sure has run out of power somewhere. I do like this little underspace I've made around here. It's nice. 
Yeah, uh, I see him. I see him. Do you see him? Let's uh, let's drive the wrong way up the ramp. We're breaking all protocols here, but as there is a problem, I'm sure we can be forgiven. Plus, you know, we get to uh, try the other route to see if it's possible if we change our minds at some point and decide that we want to go back the other way. Uh, now that I've uh, stopped and thought about what I've actually done here, it would have been much better just to extend this flat platform out over that way rather than expecting the truck to try and like make it up this sort of incline but that that's fine that's fine uh i should have brought some coal with me be free all right we're gonna fire this bad boy in and find out exactly what is going on with his items it should be nice and simple nice and straightforward to follow i'm just gonna dump that there i mean what could possibly go wrong so he comes along he makes a uh a delivery i'm just laughing at the fact that he's still not lined up despite the fact that i tried to make why is there wooden stuff here oh no oh no why why is all this here i must have done a bad at some point why can i never keep a clean belt on this first stuff well anyway we go through we grab up all these bits that it won't like even as a clear belt of status status i think i don't I prefer the way the, the word stator feels in my mouth, so maybe we'll go with that one, I don't know. Well, here they come to get combined with the rotors, and we've just got a couple more couple more belts to put in place before we can pull a very important lever. Oh, look at this, look, they've, they've already started being put down. Let's, let's do this together, guys. I want to put that one over there. Uh, is that going to do it? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And we have one more belt on the other side to do. Not entirely sure how to connect this last one up. If I'm to be honest with you, I probably would have done this entire base differently if I was to do this again. I would have started with the space elevator and worked uh, back from there, going with like assemblers and such forth. Uh, but you know, obviously that that's that's end game tech there that I've just described. You can't really do that from the start. Okay, so we can't go straight down to there. How are we gonna get this down there? There's gonna be a way somewhere. Once again, I've managed to get everything done just as sunset arrives. But all the belts are now in place. We've got the modular frames going in and we have got the motors going in on the other side. I really wish I could move faster so that I could show you these things. There they go. Beautiful. And we just got to wait now. We've got to wait to be able to pull that lever. Oh, no. Power? <laughs> So after outlasting Heat Death of the Universe, I decided that it's probably a good idea to throw a couple more machines up here and say... <laughs> another machine up here to make it a couple of machines uh, you can see though the flow is still actually accepting of more i might have to go through and work it out at some point we could probably put like another four machines up here i don't know but you can see that maybe we are starting to get a fair few number of these on the way here and i was kind of expecting them to be backing up by the time we were done talking oh look at that perfect timing i'm gonna get to the front of this machine because you know it's the uh, it's a bit of a ritual, and we need to do it through ritualistic processes. So let's come up to the front, let's throw the lever, beautiful, seal it down, seal it good. This of course needs to go up the tether, going off to project construction, or whatever it is they're doing. Alright, let's send that out there, get back and watch that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if anything happens, project assembly, my bad. When that spins round, no, it's still just a, a non-interacting thing. Bam! Look at that, beautiful! That means we can go over towards the hub and see some new stuff, right? Surely, surely. The, the, so you see that up there? That's kind of where I want to go and park this uh, this staircase at some point. I want to be able to stand up there after, well, I don't know if it's going to be when I pull the uh, the lever, but maybe when someone else pulls the lever. I'll have to see if I can find someone in to pull a lever for me. But is it going to give me any information? That's, that's like the next bit done. Are we not, are we not getting praise for it yet? No, we're not getting praise. It's, it's just open. Uh, th thanks, Ada. Thanks. Okay, so we can move on to oil processing, industrial manufacturing. Oh, look at these things here. Beautiful. Expanded power infrastructure. Just going on the fuel generator. Jetpack, gas mask. But I'm afraid all this is going to have to wait for next time. Where I'm actually going to be working on the power. Well, you can see over here, we've got a, got a little bit of problems. So what I've done so far to kind of like hack it about a bit is to put down a power shard inside the miner and also upgrade the conveyor belts coming out of there hopefully hopefully that little hacksy uh format will keep us going until we can build a much larger place but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye